Gotcha. Hello everyone, and welcome to my guide for unlocking all of the Palico gadgets in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. This is a really important thing to do if you want to unlock your Raider Riders. And of course you want to unlock your Raider Riders because they allow you to get around the map faster and to chase after a monster, perhaps in a map that you're not very familiar with. I especially find this useful when we're tracking a monster in the ancient forest and they're jumping between high and low areas. You can just call on your Raider Ride and have them chase after the monster, whether the monster is high or whether the monster is low, they will do all the climbing for you and you can lean back on your chair and take a breather. It's also in your best interest to unlock those Palico gadgets because some of them offer really powerful uh, bonuses or additional damage to your hunts. So if you're hunting solo, you can use the Coral Orchestra or you can use the Mialatov Cocktail, two really good Palico gadgets for dealing more damage and getting the fight done sooner. Let's begin the guide. The very first Palico gear is already in your inventory. You're given the Vigoros spray automatically when you start the game. It's really nice in Iceborne actually. So the, what it does in Iceborne now, all, all the gears have like a new thing that they do in Iceborne. The Vigoros spray, when you faint, when you get carded, uh, your cat will jump or your Palico will jump over you and it'll revive you. And this actually allows you to keep all the benefits of your canteen meals as well as saving one of your carts. So this is a really nice skill if you're trying to play defensively, uh, and it continues to be so in Iceborne. The second piece of equipment you unlock is the Flashfly Cage, and this is one I don't really use too often. In Iceborne, it got something called the Boom Bug Cage. I guess if a monster walks over it, the Boom Bug Cage, like, blows up. One of the things I don't like about Flashfly is it can actually interrupt a monster that's been knocked down. So I generally just don't use this palico gadget very often however you're still going to unlock it for the sake of unlocking all of your palico gadgets let's talk about how you do that so this is going to take place in the ancient forest and the first thing you have to do is unlock all of the campsites you'll need to talk to the linean researcher you're going to be helping out the bug trappers and what you're going to have to do is you're going to need to find their markings Right, you're going to find their markings on like the walls and the trees, and you're going to follow them to the very top of the great tree. In area 17, you're going to come across a bug trapper that uh, runs away from you, and then you're going to chase him, and basically you're going to chase him all the way up to his hideout. At this point, you're going to be given the flashfly cage. Next up, let's talk about the shield spire palico gadget. So in Iceborne, uh, it becomes a lot stronger, I guess, at distracting the monster. You get basically like this dummy that the Palico sets down and, you know, he's a flailing inflatable arms tubes guy. And the monster actually does give it quite a lot of it, uh, attention. But I notice it seems like Elder Dragons aren't as affected by it. Like they don't pay quite as much attention. Maybe that's just me. This time we'll be working with the Protector's Tribe in the Wildspire Waste and this will unlock the Shield Spire. The first thing you need to do is find the Grimmelkind's camp, which I'm showing you in the video right now. After that, you need to speak to the Grimmelkinds, and they're going to send you on a side quest to find three of their tribe members around the Wildspire Waste. Uh, the Grimmelkinds are going to be marked on your map, so you can just open up your map and actually mark them, uh, and then run over to them. And the next part's kind of tricky. You need to sneak around and capture the Grimmelkinds with your capture net. So equip your capture net, and maybe your ghillie mantle will help as well. Uh, you don't have to use the, the ghillie mantle, but it's just much easier to use it, so why wouldn't you? I'm sure you have it, right? Finally, after you've captured all of the Grimmelkind, you'll return to their camp, and at this point you're given the Shield Spire. The next Palico gear is actually pretty popular with speedrunners. That's because it has the ability to hand out an attack up buff. It is the Coral Orchestra. So the Coral Orchestra is pretty easy to obtain. This one comes from the Coral Highlands. You need to go over to Area 10, and then you just beat up the Tail Raiders in that area, at which point you're going to follow the Grimmelkind back to their camp, which is now marked on the map. If you speak to the troopers, they'll give you a quest for fighting two Zitsi Yaku. Once you defeated the Zitsi Yaku, this will give you a cutscene and the Coral Orchestra. Up next is a Palico gear that I'm not sure how I feel about at this point. It was really useful in the past for farming materials off a of behemoth. I don't know how good it is today. We're talking, of course, about the Plunder Blade. Plunder Blade is this Palico gear that allows your Palico to sort of like steal monster materials off of the monster. I, I don't really know how much I like it. Like, maybe I prefer for my Palico to just help me defeat the monster? I don't know. It can... <laughs> 
yeah, tell me how you guys feel about the Plunder Blade. I haven't really found a use for it in Iceborne. In Iceborne, it's the, the upgraded version of it's not even much stronger. He just, your Palco will jump onto the monster and smack it a bunch of times, and this will allow you to earn more Zenny, but not really more monster materials. So it's not that much stronger in Iceborne, unfortunately. Let's talk about how you unlock the Plunder Blade. This Palco gear is a little trickier to unlock. One thing you'll want to do is bring raw meat with you when you leave for it. It's going to be in the Rotten Vale, and you're going to go to Area 13. I can show you exactly where you're going to in Area 13 on the screen. What you're going to be waiting for is for Odogaran to drag a Legiana corpse over to this specific area. Don't fight the Odogaran. Uh, and basically, when he's done with the corpse, a Grimmelkind will appear to inspect the corpse. You're going to follow the Grimmelkind back to the Plunderer's hideout and drop a piece of meat on the ground and hide. And this kind of lures them out, right? Once the Grimmelkind appears with his friends, your Palico will comment that it's time to say hello. Uh, it's at this point that they will give you the Plunder Blade as a thank you for the food. And finally, the last piece of equipment is going to be the Mialatov Cocktail. I really like the Mialatov Cocktail in Iceborne because you get the Meow Can... Is it Meow Kano? I think it's Meow Kano. Uh, basically, it's this, like, firecracker that your Palico fires off, and it does a bunch of damage, especially if the monster sits right under it. It's quite fun. So, if you're going to unlock this, first of all, you have to unlock all the other gadgets, right? And then, you're going to speak to the Linian Researcher near the Ecological Research Center in Astera to obtain a quest for finding 10 Gajalaka Doodles. You can find these doodles in every location where Gajalaka spawn, but once you've collected a doodle, it doesn't respawn in that area. So check your map for small monsters to find all of the doodles. You have to collect 10 of these. Your next task is to kind of like sneak into a camp in the Elder's Recess. It's a Gajalaka camp, right? And you're doing this for the Linian Researcher. So you'll head out to the Elder's Recess and you can see on the screen where you need to be heading. Be sure that it's nighttime and be sure that you have your Gajalaka, I'm sorry, your Gilly Mantle equipped. So you'll put this on and you'll sneak past the guards and you gotta be careful not to be hit by anything while you're doing that. Uh, and then you're, eventually you're going to sneak in enough to talk to like their little chieftain. Once you've been able to do this, you will then receive the Mialatov Cocktail Palico Gadget. Yay, we're done! <laughs> but not quite. Now we have to unlock the Raider Ride in Hoarfrost Reach. Let's talk about how to do that. If you talk to the Linian Researcher, the Linian Researcher will tell you that in order to get the respect of the Boa Boa, which are basically the Grimmelkind of Hoarfrost Reach, in order to get their uh, respect, you have to kill a large monster in front of them. If the Linian Researcher doesn't tell you this, your Palico eventually tells you this. So head out to Hoarfrost Reach, and as you're going north from the camp, you're going to notice some Boa Boa scouts following you. Go ahead and hunt a large monster right in front of them, and when you do this, more scouts are going to show up to give you a hand. After slaying the monster, you're going to head to a southern camp in Hoarfrost Reach, where you'll run into the Boa Boa, and they're going to ask you to follow them to the hot springs. And at the hot springs, you're going to jump on a wing drake and fly all the way to their camp location. Then you're going to be given a quest by their leader to hunt a Beatotus in a quest called By Our Powers Combined. Note that you'll need to be Master Rank 3 in order to access this quest. And in the quest to get yourself started, go ahead and throw a rock at a Popo, who is then going to lead you to the location where you find the Beatotus. After defeating the Beatotus, you will unlock the Tail Raider Signal Palico Gadget. This is a new thing. Woo! New. This gadget lets you place smoke signals to call for Grimmelkind helpers and Tail Raiders to join the party. Right, so you can have a bunch of NPCs helping you, basically. You're also going to be able to use Raider Rides in Hoarfrost Reach. It took me forever to do this. I recommend you do it early. Don't be like me. <laughs> All right, so it took us a little while to put this video together. If you appreciate the hard work that went into this, uh, let us know in the comment section or leave a like on the video. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.